Rockstar has officially announced that there is a new GTA, which is not new to anyone and they said that we will see a trailer next month. However, there were some doubts and I'm going to talk about three big questions that remained about this announcement of the next GTA. The first big question is regarding the name of the game. In the statement, Rockstar said that in celebration of the developer's 25th anniversary, they will release the trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. This means we still don't know if the next GTA will be called GTA 6 or if it will be called something else. This could happen, because after GTA 3 came GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas, only the numeral sequence returned in 2008 when GTA 4 came, followed by GTA 5 in 2013. It seems very obvious that the next GTA will be called GTA 6, but we know Rockstar and you can expect anything from it. The only certainty is that it will be called GTA, regardless of whether it will be called 6, 7, or even Vice City 2. The second question of the game is where the trailer will be shown. According to Rockstar, the trailer will be shown in early December. And precisely at the beginning of December we will have the Game Awards, which will take place on the 6th, that is, GTA 6 could appear on the 6th, obviously it would be the last announcement of the event. But then a problem arises. Jeff Keithley must really want to make this announcement, which would take Game Awards to an unimaginable level, but it also has a downside to it. If GTA is announced at the Game Awards, no one will talk about the Game Awards. The event will be totally eclipsed. The next day we will forget who won the Game of the Year, no one will talk about the category winners and, most complicated of all, no one will talk about the other announcements. If I were to make an announcement at the Game Awards and I found out that there would be a GTA 6 announcement at this event, I wouldn't make the announcement, because I would know that they would forget about my announcement, no matter how big it was. It wouldn't affect Rockstar that much, but it would miss an incredible opportunity to break a record. If the GTA trailer was released on an ordinary day in December, it would be shocking, everyone would desperately rush to YouTube to see the trailer, it is possible that this will be the most viewed video in the history of YouTube. Firstly because millions of people have played GTA and are waiting for this game and, secondly, this video will be seen and reviewed hundreds of times, generating up to billions of views. The rock star could break a record, which would perhaps be smaller if she presented at the Game Awards. It may seem silly but perhaps both the Rockstar and the Game Awards would gain more just by looking forward to the trailer. If the trailer doesn't come out by the 6th, the audience for this Game Awards will certainly be huge, regardless of whether we have the GTA trailer at the event. The third question is what will come in this trailer. Analyzing the first trailers for GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, both are just over a minute long and, at least, most of this time is showing the setting. So the GTA 6 trailer should start by showing the city, the buildings, the cars, plane, helicopter and in the last 20 or 30 seconds they show the characters and the action. Just to give you an idea, in the first trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2, the action only appears in the last 15 seconds, the rest is scenery, biomes and animals in the best National Geographic style. So don't expect much. The good part is that at least we will be able to see the characters, especially the protagonists, the couple Jason and Lucia. I believe that many who picked up GTA when it was already a hit online will be disappointed because they think they should have shown more of the game. We must remember that Rockstar is not Marvel, which shows everything in the trailers. They will show little, make a lot of noise and only God knows when the next, more complete trailer for the game will come. We will only have the answers to these questions at the beginning of December. I believe it won't be much, but enough to alleviate all the anxiety we've had over the last 10 years. Are you looking forward to the new GTA? Say it in the comments. For more news, like this video, subscribe to the channel, see you next time, bye.